Hey, welcome back. We are out here at Gresham High School uh, with Reese, and uh, today's a little windy, a little bit cold, but it's not raining, so hopefully the things will go well today. But as soon as you pull back, there that foot. All right, Reese. Is it cold enough for you? Yeah. Cold enough for me. Fortunately, you get to move around a little bit. First things first, let's work a little bit on the simulated stuff that you were doing before, and then we'll grab a jab, we'll start picking and, and work through the progression. Now, don't let your left shoulder get behind you though, right? Left shoulder is gonna lead you back up into the throw. Okay, a couple more, and then I'm gonna adjust that left shoulder. Okay, good. So right side looks good. Let's fix that left side. So get, get back into that throwing position. So remember, this left shoulder is going to come up here towards me. Okay, the left shoulder can't be behind you. See how far behind it is? There you go. Right. Oh, I forgot. You got to make that. Yeah. Okay. So rock back. Same thing. Get that right side going. And then the upper body is going to move forward. That's it. Perfect. Okay, still a little behind. So think about it. That left shoulder is going to move towards me to finish the throw. So keep the right hip moving, and then that left shoulder is going to lead you up. That's it. Good. Keep the same thing. Okay, move that left shoulder towards me. That's it. So do you notice a difference in travel, right? The length of pull that you get when that left shoulder allows you to move up is, is significant. I mean, probably another foot, foot and a half, right? But as soon as you pull back here, you can't push and accelerate the throw anymore, right? The throw has to be a pull every single time. The, the release of the throw happens someplace above the head, not generally too far in front of the head. I want you to give it a throw, and then I want you to do three simulated throws, and then grab another jab and do another throw, okay? So just let them fly wherever. It doesn't really matter to me. I just, I'm just i looking at right side unwinding, and then that left shoulder is moving you up to the top of your throw, not pulling back, okay? Okay, good. One more. Good. Good. Okay, do it again. And this left shoulder is starting to come out here. I want it to come down through here. That's it. That's it. Yeah, okay, that's a good. have you throw these next two in a row okay same same idea that left shoulder is going to drop just a little bit down onto the left don't pull away from it yeah it's coming around the body just a little bit okay. good all right good uh, that was much better. Same thing. Good. Set your posture. Good. You don't want to overcommit, meaning you don't want to be way over the top here, right? I mean, ultimately, you want your body moving up into the throw. You know, if the jab angle is going here, I would like your body to also moving up through there as well. You need to try and stay behind your block a little bit, right? If you 
If you come down on top of that block this way and your body's already on top, you kind of miss out a little bit. I want you to slide into it and deflect. Hit that block and move up off that block so that you deflect the energy. It goes from here off the block and deflects it up into the air. Okay, so what I want you to do is just tilt your head a little bit to, onto your left shoulder, not your whole body, just the head. Just get the head out of the way, okay? And when you set up, I want to keep it right up here. Okay, sometimes you get the javelin down here, and when that happens, That's you have to move, this. yeah, you have to move the hand or the, the arm out from the body, and you want to be able to move the hand along the shaft of the jab as you're throwing, all right? So go ahead and get set up, tilt your head just slightly out of the way, there you go. You're going to rock back now onto that back leg and keep it here, okay? Nice throw. Oh, it's very clean, yeah. Same idea, just keep it a little higher than you would comfortably do. It's good, good three throws. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, uh, it's good to just make those little tiny adjustments just to clean up the throws because if an athlete has just a series of really bad throws and never really cleans things up, um, they just get discouraged and get distracted by it. So what I want you to think about now, we worked a lot about unwinding that right side, right? Making sure that that right side is unwinding before you get hitting into that, that block, before you get up on top of it, right? There's a lot of stuff that we have to do behind that block. So um, I want to add a crossover now, and I want you to try and Run into that block and then deflect up off that block. All right, don't get in front of it so early. Stay behind it. Just like we were doing inside, just subtle little crossover. Don't try and make make it into something too big here. All right, give me another one. So. It felt pretty heavy on your arm. Well, it just felt like I was using too much weight. Right. And part of it was when you hit your crossover, you started from here, you hit your crossover, and your body pitched forward, and then when you landed, you pitched back. So the javelin angle is changing quite a lot. I want you to try and maintain that same angle. When you land, you keep, you keep that same angle. I like that one a lot better than the first one. Same basic idea, maintain your angles, don't pitch forward and back. Okay, not bad. Jab's dropping just a little bit and you're pulling away to the left, okay? Sometimes when the jab drops low, you gotta get your body out of the way in order to produce your throw, right? So we'll make an adjustment. The idea is stay back as you hit your cross, you're gonna keep that same rearward lane. And again, you don't have to make these massive, right? I just want it to be a comfortable throw, maintain those angles. Good, a little high, there you go. Okay. Good, next one. I think, yeah, your feet look pretty good. I, the only thing that I would say is that you're dropping the jab down to your cheek. You gotta make sure it stays up there. Your, your arm needs that, that range of motion, that pathway to, to throw through. So tilt the head just slightly to the, the left and then lift the hand. There we go. Yeah, oftentimes when you hit a crossover, your body's moving up, right? And as soon as you come back down from that crossover, the javelin follows you down and then you're trying to move up against it. So the idea is you're trying to keep that javelin in a position, no matter what your body's doing, in a position that you can cleanly pull through. Don't let the javelin follow you back down to the ground as you're trying to move your body back up. There you go. That was a good throw. That was a clean throw. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That was great. I, I want you to try and stay behind that block, and I want that left shoulder moving here to throw versus out here to throw, right? If you pull out this way, the right arm's going to want to follow it this way naturally. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from here down to the left, and then the right arm follows that same orbit.
So you gotta lift that hand a little bit. So I can see it from this angle. So go ahead and get set up. When you land from that crossover, this arm, and, and actually your entire body has a tendency to, to tilt back. So try and maintain it here the entire time. Okay, that way you can have a clean path that it can go through. If you drop it, it gets stuck and your body has to then lift and move the javelin out, out of that line in order to get through the throw. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my arm underneath of yours and I want you to keep your arm from, from uh, pushing it down. Okay, so rock back and I have you go through it like a regular throw. If you want, you can do a crossover here. But I'm gonna keep my arm underneath here and you're just gonna drag it right over the top of it, okay? All right, let's do it again. Try and keep it nice, clean, straight line. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so give me a little crossover to follow you. Okay, did it feel smooth? Yeah. yeah, let's do it again. I want you to make sure that you're not putting, putting pressure down on my arm. When you land from your crossover, your arm still wants to drop and follow you down to the ground. Try and keep that arm up, okay? So reduce the amount of pressure that I should feel. Yeah, that was so light. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. There's a little bit of a teeter on that. Try and maintain it. What do you think? You got the idea? Okay, give it a throw. That's good. <laughs> that was good. Grab another one. How'd that feel? Way better. Way better. That was good. Same thing. Keep that hand just a little, a little bit higher when you come down from your crossover. Maintain your angles. Nice throw. It's good. <laughs>